This is Eugene Panrikovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Samsung 7 Series 700Z laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on a Samsung 700Z Series laptop computer. Uh, before we go any further, we want to verify the model number. So, right at the by the screen, where, right where it says JBL, it says Series 7 Chronos. So that's one place where you can find it. The other place is if you flip the laptop over, and on the bottom there's some writing, and let's look at that. It says 700Z, and then it says model number 7 NP 700 Z 2 C. No, model number NP 700 Z 7 C. So a little bit confusing, but that's the places where you can find the model number. This is a 17.3 inch laptop, and that also helps out. So let's flip the laptop over. Now, usually for most laptops, before you start, you disconnect the battery or you take out the battery but this one this laptop has an internal battery so you can't take it out so what you want to make sure is the laptop is completely off it's not in sleep or hibernate mode it's completely off once you verify that we can start taking the screen assembly apart to remove the screen for uh, this type of laptop, um, it has a very unique bezel. That's the screen frame around the screen. It's a metal bezel and it's, it's attached with adhesive to the screen. This is different from most other laptops. Most other laptops have a plastic bezel and it's attached with screws to the screen assembly and it snaps in and out. For this one, it's just attached with adhesive to the screen so you, you need a different procedure to remove the bezel. Before we start doing that, we're going to go over the tools we are going to need for this procedure. The first one is a metal spudger. Basically, it's a flat metal piece used to pry things open. And this is the tool that we'll, we're going to use to remove the bezel from. We also have a X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade. That helps us to remove adhesive tape and also pry open the bezel. Finally, we also have a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and actually it's a PH0. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. And finally, we have a pair of metal tweezers and that's to manipulate any screws that may be stuck or any cables that we might encounter. Okay, so let's get started. The first order of business is to pry open or remove the screen bezel. Now this, for this particular laptop, the bezel has been removed once before, so it's going to be a little bit easier for me to remove this bezel, but the procedure is the same. So what you do is you take the X-Acto knife and reach in between reach in the seam between the bezel and the back of the screen assembly and lift it up a little bit once you do that once you lift it up you can insert the spudger tool and take the exacto knife out and put it to the side next order of business is to slowly go around the whole bezel and gently lift up the adhesive lift up the bezel from the screen it has some strong adhesive. If you find it too hard, maybe use a blow dryer to warm it up a little bit. But I was able to do it with no problem the first time I removed this bezel. And also one other note that once you do put the bezel back on, there's, it's not going to be 100% flat. It is going to be a little bit wrinkled. So, but that's unavoidable for this case. But the laptop will still be fully functional. Okay, so going about the same way, I just go around the whole screen assembly. And like I said, I've done this once before already with this laptop, so it's a little bit easier for me in, as opposed to doing it the first time around. 
So keep going around. This is probably the most time consuming part of the whole process. Okay, and keep going down here. And do the same thing on the other side. Like so. Keep going down and lifting the bezel. Once you get to the bottom, what you can do is use your fingertips to gently remove the bezel along the bottom to remove the adhesive so you can remove the bezel like so and the bezel is off so you can see it's a little bit wrinkled try best not to wrinkle it because you have to put it back on but it's about the best we can do okay we put the bezel to the side and look at the screen assembly and once again, this is a little bit different from the way you remove the screens from other laptops, so you won't use the same procedure. There's two plastic brackets, one on top and one on the bottom that you have to remove next. The one on top, it's secured by, some, by five screws. So we use our screwdriver to remove the screws one by one. And for each set of screws, for each step, what I like to do is put them in a separate pile right here in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I'm putting the laptop back together. So that's four. And five. Once we do that, we use our a spudger tool again to lift up the corner and get to the corner. And once we lift up the corner, this metal or this plastic bracket starts to snap off. And so we kind of grab it from edge to edge and snap it off. We put this plastic bracket to the side. There's another plastic bracket that we have to remove on the bottom, and that one snaps off too. For that one, we're going to use our X-Acto knife to lift up the corner and start snapping off. So take your time on this, find the best way to snap it off, and it will come off eventually. Okay, we put this bracket to the side. The reason we move, removed this bottom bracket is we have to remove two screws. One right here, the leftmost screw, right here, and one right here, the rightmost screw. And we do that so we can tilt the screen assembly, the screen forward from the screen assembly so we can remove the screen. So let's remove those two screws. one and two when you're working on the laptop be aware of the power button right here so that you don't accidentally press it while you're removing the screen all right once we remove these two screens we can tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly what you need to do that is use the spudger tool and reach in into the seam between them into the seam. What you want to do is lift up the screen from the screen assembly and what you can do is where the screw bracket is, lift it up here and gently start prying it open on the side. There's a seam and use the spudger to pry it open. Pry open and lift on the seam. Okay. 
and it's not quite moving on this side, so we're going to start on this side. Like so. And this side comes out easier. Like so. So what we did is went in this seam and just pry the screen forward like so. Okay, we're gonna try it again on this side. It's getting stuck somewhere, so we'll keep trying. There. So there was a place it was getting stuck, so we pried it open, and the screen now tilts forward from the screen assembly. Once we do that, we just need access to the screws. The first time you open it, usually there's a screw on the bottom. What I did when I reassembled it is put the screw here. But for you, there will be a screw on the bottom, and you need to remove this screw right here. So we go one by one, remove the three screws. One. Two and three, like so. And make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back when you do this. And we do the same thing on the other side. Once again, there will be another screw down here, which we'll have to remove. And then you remove the other screws also. There's one. and three. Okay, once you do that, you can gently tilt the screen forward and lay it down. And we'll take a look at the screen assembly. Okay, now that we have access to the back of the screen, we can take a look where the connector is. The connector is down here, and there's only one. And in order to remove the screen, we have to remove the connector. Um, the connector is secured by some adhesive tape. So we want to lift up the tape with the edge of the X-Acto knife. Just enough for us to grab it with our fingertip. And they're making it more difficult for us than usual. The tape is flimsy, so it just comes off. So, but we'll get it eventually. So we lift it enough, just so secure with our fingertips, and we lift off this adhesive tape, like so. And let's take a look at the connector, what it takes to remove this. The connector is secured by a metal bar, so we have to... There's a piece of tape that holds the metal bar. So what we do is we lift up this metal bar to get access to the connector. And also, one more thing. It just comes off. What just happened here is the connector just came out. So let's put it back in. Let's slide it back in. And then what we do to remove this connector is grab the metal bar at the top and slide the connector out like so. And let's slide it back in. And when you slide it back in, you should feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up. Okay, pause the video right here. This is a properly connected connection. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, once again, we remove the connector and then remove the screen. There are several uh, details about the screen. This is a 17.3 inch full HD screen, which is not the type of screen that's found in most 17.3 laptops. 
So this is a full HD and it has a separate part number. And also the finish of it is matte, not glossy. It's a little bit rougher, it's, it's matte. And for most 17.3 full HD screens, you'll find this to be the case. Let's take a look at the part number. It's important that you get the part number right or you will not get the full HD screen. The part number is N173 HGE. That's the part number that you're looking for. Now when you do receive the screen, the part number might be different, but the screen will look exactly the same. Just confirm it ha it is a full HD screen. Okay, we at Screen Surgeons have this screen available to uh, purchase online. To buy the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com, type in the model name number in the short form, and then the website will guide you to the buy the right screen online. And what you get with us is you get this toolkit for free with the screen. It comes with everything except with the spudger, except the spudger. For this particular case, we'll send you the spudger for free, but it's not part of the toolkit, so you have to specify it. When you order it in the notes, say that you need the spudger for this one, and we'll send it to you for free. Okay, we also get fast delivery with this screen. It's free shipping and it's priority mail, so you'll get it in two, three days in the United States. And if you live outside the United States, just go through a regular checkout procedure and we can ship to most countries around the world. Um, finally, this screen has a two-year warranty on it. And also, if you get stuck at any place along the procedure, send us an email and we'll walk you through it. We have free email technical support. All right, once you do get the screen in, connect it as I showed you. And then carefully mount the screen in the mounting brackets when they're tilted forward, like this. And like I said before, when you're mounting it, use the top three screws. Use, use these top three screw openings because it's a little bit harder to get in the bottom screw opening and the screen will be mounted properly here. Once you do mount the screen in the mounting brackets, uh, use the spudger to help you to snap, snap the mounting brackets onto the screen assembly, like so. And then what you do next is put the two screws in at the bottom here, then snap the bottom plastic part on, and then after that snap the top plastic part back on and put the screws in at the top. Once you do that, you take the screen bezel and gently stick the screen bezel or press the screen bezel on the side of the screen. Now if you find you have trouble with the adhesive, this screen bezel adhesive, is there's not enough there. What you can do is use rubber cement to put some adhesive back on the on the bezel and that should be fine. Like I said before, the screen bezel will be a little bit wrinkled, but the functionality will be okay. Okay, and that's it. Now, once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.